Welcome to the HP Online Teaching Assistant, an initiative of HP Education. Today, we will explain how to send and correct assignments in Teams. The objectives of today's educational capsule are send assignments, grade assignments, and create very simple rubrics. We will go directly to the practice in Teams. Please note that this exercise can be done both from the desktop version and from the online version of Teams, depending on your choice. I'm going to do it from my desktop Teams. So how do I create an assignment? Here you can see that I have a class, the History of Art 1B. Now imagine that I want to create an assignment within the general channel. I would simply click here on Assignments. Here it will show me if I have a draft. For example, here we have three, Assignment 1, Assignment 2, and Roman Art. If I want to, I could open any one of them and edit it. It also tells me how many I have assigned, which in this case, I only have one. And here, it shows me who has turned in their assignment. As you can see, zero of the three students I have have turned it in. I'll also be able to know what tasks I've evaluated here and graded. Now we click on Create, and I get three options. From Existing, if a task was already created and I want to reuse it, Quiz, where a Microsoft Forms can be added, and finally, Assignment, to create an assignment from scratch, which is what we're interested in right now. The first thing it's going to ask for is to give it a title. Let's type, for example, Image Commentary of Renaissance Art. Here are the instructions. Hello, boys and girls. You need to make a comment on an Italian Renaissance art sculpture. Here, you can add resources, for example, an image, a link, a notebook in OneNote, I can add whatever I want, like what I have in my OneDrive, or I can upload from my device. I can click here and upload from this device and search for what I need in my folders. In this case, I won't upload one because my students will have to look for an image and they will have to comment on it. Should I give it a score? In points, I can indicate how many points the assignment earns, or in Add Rubric, I can upload a rubric if I already have a rubric created on my computer and it is the one I want to use. Or I can create a new rubric and add the grading criteria I want. I already have a column previously created here, which is called Text and Photo. I click, I click Next, and here I put the title Text and Photo. If I want to, I can edit it or add a description. In here, I define if I'll award points, yes or no. Then you'll see there's a brief grading criteria about task behavior that I've done. I've determined that it's excellent if there is text and photo, good if there is only text, fair if there is only a photo, and poor if nothing is turned in. If I want to include this rubric, I click Attach. Otherwise, I click Cancel. I'll create a new rubric and then give it a title, Renaissance Image Comment. I could add whatever description I like. In this case, I won't type anything. I will confirm to award points. And as you can see, next to excellent, I see the points. I can award excellent five points, good is three points, fair is two, and poor is one. I can also define the criteria for fluency. In excellent, I would say, for example, the student often writes very well, uses words well, etc. In good, this could be, for example, the student's writing is sometimes good and uses vocabulary well. In fair, the student occasionally writes well and makes good use of words. In poor, the student has trouble writing and rarely uses words correctly. Once I've done this, I click Attach. So I have my title, the instructions, and the points, which would be about 100, where I want to assign it, which in this case is in Art History 1B, for all students. I can also choose if I only want a specific student. In this case, I have three students. I could choose any of the three. I can also define a deadline date and duration of the task. If we click here and edit, it will open a new window where I will be able to schedule the assignment of my task in the future, schedule to assign in the future. For example, I can today create all the tasks for the next week or next month. I click here. I put the date and time for it to be published and when the due date and time are. If I want to publish it now, I remove this check mark from here. And finally, I can put a closing date. 
This means that if I mark this option, the task is published immediately because I haven't chosen to assign it in the future. It expires on this date, and no late turn-ins are allowed. If I remove this checkmark from the closing date, it will allow for late turn-ins of the task. In any case, I will see the date they handed it in, so I'll decide if I want to deduct any points for late hand-ins. That is left up to each teacher. I'm going to press Done because I don't want to change anything else. If I click Assign, it will automatically be posted on the wall of the general channel, which is where I'm creating the task. But if I click Save and I go to Posts, my task does not appear. I return to Assignments and in Drafts I find Renaissance Art Image Comment, which is the one we just did. If I click, I can recover, edit, or assign it. To make you see that it's not being assigned directly, you can include an assignment date or save them, then open and assign them. There are several options. Each teacher will choose what's the most suitable for them. Now if I click Assign, it tells me I have two tasks assigned, Renaissance Art Image Comment and Task 1. If I go to Posts, it appears here, Renaissance Art Image Comment. This is the teacher's view in Teams. Now, I'm going to log in as a student. This would be the student's view. We go to Assignments and view the tasks, or it will appear here in Posts on the general channel. If you click here, it will take you directly to the task, Renaissance Art Image Comments. Hello, boys and girls. You need to make a comment on an Italian Renaissance art sculpture for a possible 100 points. They'll be able to see your rubric here so they'll know how they'll be evaluated and will know that if they have good writing skills and use the appropriate wording for Italian Renaissance art, they will get more points than if they do nothing. So from here, students can add their work. They can upload the work from their OneDrive or a link from Teams or from their device. I'm going to upload this from my OneDrive. I click to attach and then click turn in. It's uploaded and delivered. So let's go back to the teacher's view again so you can see what the correction would look like. I go to Assignments. If you notice, Task 1, which was the other one I had, zero out of three students have handed in the task. And for the Renaissance Art Image Comment task, one of three students has handed it in. I click here and it tells me which student turned it in. Here, I could give some feedback or I can directly give it a grade, but I want to see their work. I click on their name and it will directly open a preview of the work. In the column on the right, the following options appear. If I click on the three dots, I will be able to download it, open it in PowerPoint Online, or open it in PowerPoint from my desktop. The good thing is, there is already a preview, which will save a lot of time versus having to download everything. Here, I'll be able to switch between the students. If all three had handed in their homework, I could move to the others to review their homework as well. If I click on Grading Criteria, I see the criteria that I had entered in my column. So I select the one that corresponds. For example, if the student showed great writing skills and a great use of words, I select Excellent. That equals five points. And here I can write a comment. Hello, you have worked very well on the commentary of this piece. Keep it up. Once I have that, it makes it 100 points out of 100 because it got a five, which is the maximum score. And then I click Return. I have now completed the correction of my student's homework. I click Close here. And if we go to the student's view, here in Activity or in the chat, Assignment Returned will appear. And if I click on View Assignment, I can see the grade. With the grading criteria, I can see why I gave a 5 and the comment. From this option, the student can return the task in case they had to repeat it. So that's it. In terms of how to create a task, how to grade a task, and how to create a rubric, Thank you for watching this video offered by HP Online Teaching Assistant, an initiative of HP Education.